coming tonight. Before we start, um, two uh, of our bass players asked me if they could write something to say at the beginning of our concert. So Josie and Acadia are coming over to say a welcome to you. Welcome to the French Road Elementary School Orchestra Concert. Our orchestra is make, made up of 113 students from third to fifth grade, with five third graders, 16 fourth graders, and 92 fifth graders. We'd like to thank Ms. Aisham and Ms. Kettlecamp for being amazing teachers throughout the whole year. We would also like to thank all of our students for coming in early and the parents for driving them. Please enjoy the concert. is going to introduce our first song. Our first song is called Conquest. It was written by Jeremy Wolfstein. He teaches strings at High Park Middle School in Las Vegas, Nevada. He is also one of the authors in our message books Dream Basics. We really focused on learning how to play the slurs and dynamics in Conquest. Enjoy! Canyon. 
And we have some soloists playing with us, and um, everything changed a little bit after the programs were made, and we kept adding more and more soloists. So um, if your child's name isn't in the program, I apologize, and I'm happy to make a new one for you. Um, I think the ones that we left out are Ryan Riccobono, Henry Swing, Karen Beer, Karen Beer, how do you say your last name? Diol, Aiden Elzubi, and Dulan. How's my I'm going to let him say that. And did I leave anyone out who, um, well, they don't know who's in the program because they can't see it. So we'll get that sorted out later if we made any other mistakes. But we've got a slow section with soloists, and then a fast allegro section with everybody, and then another slow section with soloists. without our custodians helping us all the time with setup and, and everything. And uh, Ms. Kettlecamp is also, I want to acknowledge her. She's in the back. Please stand. She's at every rehearsal with us, helping out.
about them and the kids who are so helpful. These, this group is wonderful. Um, stand up if you stay after orchestra to help us clean up every time. Please stand so we can applaud. Aaron. to our first class on time with our fourth graders. Um, so that's just such a huge help. And also, one orchestra student I want to say a special thank you to because she came early before school and helped us every morning set up the folders. Whatever we needed to do, we, we said, Jaden, please, we're in a hurry. Please help us do this. Jaden Pattyfoot always helped us. So stand up, Jaden, for a special. Ms. Cavalcamp and I, and so we really appreciate the help in the mornings. Um, now it's Megan Levinsky's birthday today, and so we thought we'd let her introduce our next song. Our next song is Spark of Courage by Doug Spada, who was born in St. Louis but now lives in Ohio. Mr. Spada is a clarinetist by training, but because of his experience as an orchestra teacher, he now mainly composes for strings. This, because this is a very joyful song meant to send all our fifth graders off to TCMS with courage, only the fifth graders will be performing the song. cellists who are going to introduce it but before they before they do um, we have a surprise for the students 
I don't think you know this yet, but the composer of this piece of music is my brother-in-law, and he happens to be here tonight. And so we wanted him to come up so the kids could meet Mr. Tim Isham. Are you out there? He's supposed to be here. There he is. Tim is a, a string teacher in the Webster School District, and he also composes wonderful pieces for elementary orchestras. Um, so, well, the girls will tell the story of how this came to be, and, and then you can say a few words? Okay. One day at our cello lesson, we asked Ms. Isham if we could play a song about a sparkly, glittery unicorn. We envisioned playing it and throwing lots of glitter into the crowd. We didn't know that Mrs. Eichmann's brother-in-law had actually written a song for an elementary orchestra called Happy Sparkly Unicorn. Mr. Eichmann teaches strings in Webster, New York. We hope you like unicorns and, and enjoy this song as much as we do. Thank you to Ms. Ionello and the fifth grade chorus for agreeing to sing this and making this song to be the first song ever to be performed by both orchestra and chorus besides the Star Spangled Banner. Say a few words about the piece, we love it. Thank you. First of all, I just want to apologize to all the adults in the room for having written a song called Happy Sparkle Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this this, this uh, piece came about because I, I do teach in Webster, and, I, and my students ask me all the time, Can we play this popular song or that popular song? And it's really it's always a no to them, and I feel bad, but it just it doesn't work out for an elementary orchestra to do those kinds of songs. But I wanted them to have that rock star experience so that we can play a real cool, popular song. So I started with the music part of it. Didn't, uh, we, I just had the title, Happy Sparkly Unicorn. Wrote, wrote a full piece for orchestra uh, that sounded like a pop song. Uh, that's only half of the equation. Part of the fun of doing a song like this is that it has to be a song that everybody knows. When you say the name of the song, everybody goes, oh, did you know it? Um, So there's the other part of this, is that I took that complete orchestra piece, and I wrote words to it. Um, instead of strings, I put electric guitars, keyboards, drums, and we made a, uh, a rock song out of it, uh, put it on YouTube with the help of my students, made a music video, spread the word to all the kids in the school, was, this is an audio project. And when we got to the concert at the end of the year, I said, now we're going to do Happy Spark. You know, we, we did get that reaction. We're going to see how Feel the buzz in the crowd. So that's the story of the piece. Um, the extra, extra special part of this for me tonight is this was really never intended to be a vocal piece. Um, if, you, if, you, if you've heard the piece on YouTube, I can suggest you don't. But, <laughs> I had, to, I had to alter my voice digitally to cope with the range, because it's written for it, it uses the full range of the orchestra, the very highest notes in the violins, and the very lowest notes in the basses. Um, it's really not an appropriate vocal range. Um, so I got you know, an email from Mrs. Yanello, and she said, we'd like to sing Happy Sparkle Unicorn with the chorus. And I did this with my eyebrows. I said, you can't see this. That's what I was thinking to myself. But she made it happen. I sent her the music. Um, she, she made everything work with the actors for the kids to sing. And this is super special. I'm super pumped to hear these kids sing the song and these kids play it. So thank you especially to Mrs. Zaisha and Mrs. Yanella.